My name is Bokan Abdullah. I am a lawyer and legal advisor. I work with Jian Foundation for Human Rights. The Jian Foundation for Human Rights is an organization in uh, Kurdistan region in Iraq, and we work in the field of human rights and uh, also uh, dealing with the, uh, you know, the, our situation in Iraq, dealing with uh, other violence against human rights and uh, involved in this field. We started uh, as a center for human uh, for uh, rehabilitation and treatment of the victim of uh, victims uh, 40 years ago in Kirkuk city. Uh, it's, a, it's a city in the middle of Iraq. Uh, after that, we opened another branch in Soleimania and at the same time in Erbil, in the, the capital of the Kurdistan region. Uh, after that, we grow more than so we uh, change our name and our organization to Jihan foundation for human rights now we have uh, about eight branches in around the Kurdistan region and uh, we work also work also in Mosul and other area near the Mosul also in Kirkuk and we have in the same time a mobile team and uh, sub sub branch in the City around Kirkuk and Mosul and Soleimania and Abu and Dohuk also and the camp of the refugee. Uh, yeah, our vision is uh, we try to uh, to is to to build a, a, a good world to respect the human rights and human dignity. Uh, we work for, from uh, we work to that from the. Uh, uh, group of uh, or team of lawyer and at the same time we have a team of uh, doctors and uh, uh, medical uh, experience who provide this uh, this uh, service to the people we we have a, a, in the legal in the legal ex aspect we have a lawyer to to give the advisor to the people who uh, who, who facing the uh, human abuse, uh, human abuse and violence against them, and represent them in the court and the, against the authority also. And we have a, a visiting to the uh, to the president, president, and the, you know, the police station to uh, to to monitoring the the measurement and the rule that this uh, this authority is uh, is. Uh, uh, doing th their work. At the same time, uh, we have uh, we provide legal and me le uh, sorry provide uh, health uh, servants and health, uh, especially me uh, mental health to the people we, uh, to the people who come to our center and around the Kirkuk, uh, Kurdistan region and Kirkuk and Mosul and the camp, uh, and we have a social worker who provide this service. It's a uh, healing garden is one of the, uh, you know, uh, it's one of the success story for Jian Foundation. We established uh, healing garden in, in an area called Chamchamal. Chamchamal is the, uh, in, uh, they call this area Chamchamal the capital of Anfal. Anfal is, uh, you know, it's a, a process, a, a, a military process doing by the Saddam regime against Kurds people. And in this process was the uh, more than uh, one one hundred uh, one hundred and eighty thousand of people were killed in the mass grave, and uh, so this area is damaged in the, the big way. So we uh, we think that we can uh, provide a, a little bit uh, service to these people. So we start to establish uh, and. Uh, uh, healing garden healing garden is a um, as a building is a traditional uh, building uh, in the um, traditional kurdish uh, building way and it's include uh, not just a, it's, a, it's a, uh, trying we trying in this healing garden to uh, to make some kind of eco uh, make uh, some kind of a deal and uh, some kind of uh, uh, how I say, uh, with the ecosystem in this area, we have we so we we uh, building this this garden. It's include a lot of tree, a lot of animals, uh, and we uh, we uh, uh, we try to treat 
treatment the people who are uh, victim of uh, violence, especially Yazidian women, by dealing by by uh, by animals and this in this atmosphere, you know, it's a traditional atmosphere. So, so we're trying to to uh, provide this serve, mental, especially mental service to them. And after the uh, the occupy Shangal by from the ISIS and they attack the Yazidian minor, minority in uh, mountain of. Shangal, we try, we bring this woman, this this survivor who survived from this uh, this genocide, and trying to to rehabilitation them and to treatment treatment with them and and the you know the scientists way, uh, and uh, so we we succeed in this uh, this uh, project, and we and at the same time, Healing Gardens now is a, a one of the. Um, Remarkable uh, area in this in Chamchamal, or also in this area, Chamchamal and Shores, which which was was the as I say, capital of in fact. It's, I think uh, this question is a fundamental question. It's a we can build more than uh, more thing on this question. Why why is that? Uh, you know, this country, Iraq country, especially and Kurdistan region, is uh, is living in a war. Are around 40 years ago, 40 years. So it's a too, too difficult to uh, to deal with uh, people who are facing uh, a, 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 a war in every uh, every day and every every month and every year. So as example, if we if we look uh, uh, to the history, we see that that uh, uh, Saddam Hussein regime at the first, you know, he is. Uh, uh, Dealing uh, in, in, uh, by the fire and iron to deal with the Kurdish revolution in the uh, uh, 70th years, or 70th, uh, in the 1970, 1970. So he, 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 and after that, he uh, declared our uh, declare a war against uh, Iran, a neighbor, neighbor. Uh, hood of Iraqi country, and in this in, in ten years, this war is uh, many of Iraqi people uh, injured and wounded and killed in this war. In this war, after that, in the end of this war, Saddam Hussein regime is uh, uh, using chemical uh, chemical weapon against uh, the city of Halabja, the city of Halabja, and kill more than uh, five thousand. Of people uh, uh, who, who are the civilian people, and at the same time, he is uh, leading a, 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 a file campaign, as I mentioned before, and he killed in the mass grave more than 118,000 of people in this mass grave in the desert of uh, south of Iraq. You, you know, last uh, last uh, week they found a mass grave of the Kurdish people who was killed in this ma in this. Uh, and PAL operation, and uh, it's about uh, 30 years ago, and now they found their their uh, their body in the mass grave. So it's too difficult uh, to people uh, to deal with that. And you know, it's it's a it's a it's, a, it's a evident that the people here is uh, facing uh, trauma generation, and we need to work uh, to. To work and to work to to resolve this problem and to to give these people the attention and it's I think at the same time it's one of the uh, international response uh, uh, international community responsibility to to try to help these people. Actually, uh, the what we can do to to uh, to to resolve this big problem I think it's a big problem. Uh, um, nationality and internationality. And nationality, Iraqi government and KRJ should should give attention to these people to to try to rehabilitation them and to to in, uh, to to decrease the violence against human uh, uh, in the field of human rights and to support in the same time support civil society to doing this their their job to to doing their work. So it's it's uh, it's a national responsibility of Iraqi 
Iraqi government and to issue a new, a new, you know, a new law, a new establish a new institution to help these people. International community's responsibility is try to support Iraqi government, try to support uh, uh, Kurdistan uh, government, try to support uh, uh, civil society here in Kurdistan and in Iraq, and at the same time bring the people who is responsible to this crime. You know, this crime should, uh, shouldn't go without responsibility. Try to bring them to the, uh, to the, to the judge and uh, uh, prosecuting them and so some kind, some some kind of establish some kind of court as example for the Yazidian woman, uh, Yazidian people who uh, minority who facing a, 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 a dramatic and great uh, crime against them. So th they need, so the international community should uh, and uh, should uh, uh, to to bring these people to the to the uh, to the judgment. But I think uh, we we. It's a, a part of them is a political issue. It's a, it's depend on the uh, political situation. But we, we as organization hope to uh, to bring these people to the uh, to the judge. Actually, uh, it's a we can say it's a, a two part. One part, uh, the government sometimes support the NGOs to to make make some kind of makeup to their to their you know, reputation in the international community and as a as a government there there is there's obligation to help the organization but this help is not include any funding any something like that just uh, administration administrative helping at the same time we are as an organization working in the you know sensitive uh, field like human rights and uh, we are uh, monitoring the government monitoring the the executive branch of the uh, of the uh, government so it's uh they we were facing usually uh, facing and uh, facing problem facing difficulty especially in an area in like uh, iraq uh, it's uh, full of conflict full of full of problem full of uh, you know full of um, inter interfere interfering from the uh, other country so it's a uh, a little bit difficult for us as an as an organization to work in this field, but we're trying to to reach our aim, to to reach our goal, uh, to reach our uh, program, and to reach the to the, the victim and uh, give, the, give their the, that servants and their their, their need.